Peace, love and light Scorpios. I've been prompted to do a message regarding the four major changes that you'll see for yourself in 2024. Um, the first thing that I'm seeing is uh, something about communication. So perhaps there's going to be, you're going to be seeing more more communication with the divine it's going to be a lot uh, perhaps a lot more easier for you it's going to become easier for you okay so let's see four major changes for Scorpios messages for Scorpios spirit regarding okay speaking of number four confirmation okay let's get those flying cards Had to really work for that one, Scorpios. So from a four to an eight, there's an energy of increase, all right? So the first thing that the divine is, is going to be showing you is that there's going to be an energy of increase in your life, okay? And this is like an energy of manifestation as well. And it's interesting that this is the car that's coming out. And 2024 is a year of manifestation. So the divine wants you to know that 2024 is going to be a year of increase for you. You've heard this before, you know this. And what I'm hearing right now is that this manifesting, your ability to manifest this year, it's like you're going to have it down to a science, okay, to where you will not have to do too much. Not that, not in terms of you working. This is more so in terms of you trying to find out how to manifest. So you're going to rest assured. This is... It's going to come to you a lot easier. Okay. So the year of manifestation is going to be. It's going to be about increase. And it's an increase in your pentacles. It's an increase in your finances. This year really like this number eight. Which precedes everything which is crowning this reading. It's showing you what the predominant theme of this coming year is going to be. This is going to be about manifestation. And even in the sense of like trusting your intuition, okay, in terms of speaking things into existence and seeing them happen, for example, you know, me talking about seeing the number four as the four four ways that you're manifesting and then this shows up okay you're going to be seeing that as you speak things into existence things are going to be it's going to become easier to manifest because of your speaking and this is why the divine was saying something significant about mercury about communication it's going to be very key for you to pay attention to what you say pay attention to how you speak okay and this also includes working on your throat chakra and i almost feel like those four things that the divine led me to um really touch on like i almost feel like you know we've covered them and we've covered them in a, in a very effortless way so the number four for you may be significant, okay? The number four showing up here is very significant. I'm here. There's going to be something significant about your security, your abundance, your place of stability, especially your place of rest. This may be your home. 
okay there's something that's that's very significant about your home that's showing up the divine is saying that uh there's your spirit guide specifically there there's some specific ones that deal with aspects of home the divine is saying to assure that you communicate with them and you speak on those things that you want to occur regarding your home okay your place of stability whatever it is for many of you there's different aspects um relating to your stability and i'm really getting that many of you it has to do with uh your home okay your home is a place of security where you rest where you lay your head um there's something very significant about that that's going to increase your abundance and this may mean that perhaps um <laughs> and this three of pentacles showing up is very significant uh regarding the increase that's coming as it relates to your stability okay so uh, different things and again you know i asked for four and i feel like there's more than four that came um one of the first things again number one was pay attention to your communication pay attention to your communication because your communication is going to be the forefront of everything else that surrounds you that comes to you number two is there's your communication is going to influence your manifestation this is really going to be how you manifest you're really going to be this magician that's going to be able to speak words into existence speak the things into existence that you want and you're going to see them happen right before your eyes okay so that's something significant that the divine wants you to know communication and speaking okay um so that's two in terms of number three i'm hearing there's something very significant about your home okay there's something very significant about your home your home life uh which has to do with your family life your stability the way in which you know your increase is going to happen hmm. <laughs> i'm also hearing scorpio that there's going to be something significant about matters of the heart many of you are actually going to be seeing a lot of these karmics you may be actually seeing them come back one by one not come back to you necessarily like you may run into them in various places and the divine is letting you know that they're meant to see you they're meant to see you in this very resilient energy here and i'm also hearing something about how like you're going to and not that this is relevant to many of you because I'm getting this energy that you're going to be in divine unions for many of you. That you're going to have your choice and pick in terms of which one you want. Like that's how it's going to be. And many of you are saying, no, nah, I don't want them. I don't want nothing that's coming back. You know, don't want spoiled milk, yada, yada, yada. And the divine is really just letting you know they're going to be, they're going to be like, coming towards you energetically like these people in your past your karmics relationships like it's going to be like these <laughs> it's going to be like these seven cups here like you're going to have your choice like if you wanted to many of you are not going to want to and they may actually be showing themselves in order to um it's almost like clear out some things like many of them you know i'm getting this energy that that's that may be the case okay all right let's find out some information about this eight of pentacles this eight of pentacles really gives a lot of energy of manifestation 
this is you holding on to your light mm. it's going to be a year where a lot of people really see who you are scorpios this eight of pentacles this is reflecting on the things that you've worked so hard to manifest. And one of those things is your light. Like you literally don't have to be near someone to feel your energy, to feel your light. Like they're going to be able to do so because your light and your energy is going to be so strong. Like energetically 2024 is going to be a major major year for you a lot of um light energy coming forth here what do you want us to know about this eight of pentacles okay so i see something about choice okay that shows up okay so your light your um aura is going to allow things to come to you okay so this tower card here are also relating to the major changes that are going to happen in your life okay this eight of pentacles is alluding to the various choices that you're going to have There may be something about detaching from something. showing up I'm getting this energy Scorpios that the divine is saying that there may be something that comes up regarding this eight of pentacles here something that you've manifested uh, the divine is saying to be cautious in regards to your energy There's some major changes that are happening in regards to your abundance, your manifesting that has a lot to do with sudden changes. There's going to be a lot of sudden changes. Sudden changes in your creativity, you may experience a lot of a lot more creative ideas. You're going to also experience an increase. And it's going to come really, like, really quickly. <laughs> and I'm seeing this emperor and the empress show up here having to do with creativity so there may be something that you are meant to create in a divine union okay perhaps this is why the number two is showing up which is representing union uh the divine union is also represented by this uh empress and this emperor here which is showing up together as this divine union okay the divine is saying to expect some unexpected changes here in your in your unions and 
this also has to do with this energy of the divine saying to speak what you want not what you don't want because essentially what you want in these divine unions are going to come to fruition it's the time for that now is the time for that like you've earned this you've worked for it you have these choices because of the work that you have put in energetically. Okay. Tell me about this Four of Swords. And I'm getting that this Four of Swords is really showing something about, you know, you your energy so in 2023 there the energy may have been a lot more like hustle and bustle kind of you setting standards setting the tone to enter 2024 and in 2024 there's something that's going to become stable Perhaps you're thinking, perhaps you're going to be a lot more calm. You're not going to be as kind of mm. like your work energy is going to be somewhat different is what I'm getting. Whereas 2023 may have been an energy of like a lot of heavy work i'm getting like a lot of heavy lifting you know i'm getting this energy that a lot of the heavy lifting you've done in 2023 are gonna pay off in 2024 where the amount of work that you did you're not going to have to do because you've basically set the tone you've kind of laid out a template that's the word you've laid out a template for what's coming Mm, look at how this shows up and again this is an aspect of your stability and the divine is saying you can rest assured because i'm getting this energy and look how they just both come out at the same time this energy of like loss the divine is saying that you can rest assured regarding like your concerns for loss because this right here, this is an energy of like you kind of being at ease, you coming into this knowing that things are going to work out. Look at that, nine of pentacles. And I'm also getting this energy that your wealth status, your financial status is going to, you know, go from zero to a hundred really quick. And not literally, like not saying that literally some of you had nothing and you're going to a hundred and maybe that's the case um i'm really getting with this five of pentacles to the nine here like you're gonna see a big jump in your finances um that's going to happen and it, it it's like the template has already been laid out for you to do this and so where you may have been more concerned previously as to how things were going to happen how you were going to manifest this abundance you may have been concerned where the keys were going to come from, how you're going to open the keys, how you're going to get your own house, how you're going to pay for your own house. The divine is saying that you can rest assured that this is coming, the coming together. There's something that's coming together for you here. Three of Pentacles showing up again, this energy of teamwork. which is an energy of family. This is all also related to your stability. Seven of Cups. Mm. Flying cards. Yeah, just as we suspect the Scorpios, it's some there's some folks, you know, that may come back to you in a hasty energy. And part of part of the reason is because they're blocked and they see this. 
they see you being this abundant queen of pentacles and here they are coming in there <laughs> trying to you know it's, it's like they're flocking to you like flies i know some of you are like listen y'all need to sit down before you get sprayed <laughs> Sit down before you get sprayed because you're not taking any invitations and you're not taking any any <laughs> any spoiled milk. <gasps> yeah, that's how you consider some of these karmic Scorpio, seriously. Okay, yeah, so this is this is a really beautiful energy, very short and sweet read. Like these are some of the major changes coming towards you. It's changes in your communication. Okay, the divine is saying to focus on that. There's some aspects of your stability showing up. There's um, a lot of energy of a lot of energy of light and manifestation showing up here. And this right here is you basically having the template ready like i'm getting this energy of kind of like this nest egg some of you have already started like you started this process in 2023 and you're going to see a big payoff in 2024 what you started in 2023 you're gonna see a major payoff from something you started in 2023 as this queen of pentacles here Look at this. Major, major payoff. Hold up. And then you see this breakthrough in clarity. Yeah, you're just going to be able to see clearly, which is allowing you to manifest. All right. Something major payoff, something you started in 2023 is paying off in 2024 your hard work has paid off and this is what you get to see in 2024 scorpios <coughs> move ashe <laughs> ashe to this indeed breakthroughs breakthroughs are coming a lot of energy of strength you're gonna see a lot more people waking up it's it's the awakening is also going to continue to happen in this cycle as well um which will mean that your chances of actually teaming up soul tribes coming together it's a lot stronger families coming together this is more so soul tribes you know type of energy that's coming together anything else like this right here i'm getting this energy it's like whoever it is that's going to be coming in their hasty energy like some of you are going to be mm, like i said they're going to be coming like flies and you're going to have your spray ready you're going to spray them look at that ten of pentacles ten of uh, cups mm, some of you are saying i'm not taking any takers <laughs> anything else spirit look at that there's good news with your patience there's something again this is confirmation there's something that you began your hard work is going to be paid off you began something in 2024 that you're going to see that your hard work is going to pay off in 2020 you began something in 2023 it, that's going to pay off in 2024 that's it and this is in various aspects here mm, relationship showing up look at that ten of pentacles and we did say the ten of pentacles okay major changes very short and sweet read scorpios not always you know about the 40 minutes sometimes you can get what you need and you know 30 and 30 or less messages regarding this reading spirit okay so i on a vision way of the divine feminine revealed mm, the 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 deary is also confirming that you've just heard the truth 
Okay, and this is also Katiakia, Guardian of Papua Tuanuku. I'm hearing that there's something significant about this Ayana Vision number 11. So I'm going to read this one. Okay, so. Where are we? I on a vision is the blossoming awareness of your life purpose and true inner passion. You're lovingly pushed to admit to your authentic and most passionate soul yearnings becoming bold with honesty. And the divine is saying, acknowledging your truth will bring you peace, even if admitting it also means facing the personal transformation required to bring that truth to life in your world. When it is truth, it is healing. Embrace it. So some of you may be kind of like hesitant to accept that this abundance is your portion. The divine is saying um, you may be waiting to believe it when you see it. And the divine is saying if you see it, you know, it is yours. Okay. And this is the Deary is saying. There's a deeper truth that shall bring peace to your heart, offering you guidance, comfort, and renewal. You're guided to turn within for answers. Do not allow another to interrupt, influence, or distort your personal trusting relationship with the divine. Allow spirit to be your highest counsel, and you shall never be led astray. You shall know the words to speak and the consciousness to hold to evoke healing and set things right listen for deep within truth is known so there's that aspect of speaking that that showed up earlier mm, okay scorpios um and then number 10 is having to do with kaitiaki kaitiaki is saying uh, search within for the ways you can express guardianship of the divine feminine. Your relationship with Mother Earth is sacred, empowering, and healing. You're destined to become more spiritually intimate with her. Mm -hmm. If you feel that you are on your own when you would like some help, allow the divine mother to be your friend and guide while trusting that more allies will arrive at the right moment. So, this is confirming the energies that were seen in the reading, having uh, energies of uh, community collaboration um, that showed up. There's energies of, you know, speaking the truth, being very cautious of what you speak because your words are powerful. All of those things are going to be showing themselves uh throughout this year okay that is before you and scorpios there's a lot of wonderful things to look through and especially especially the breakthroughs that are coming are gonna be out of this world <laughs> that's the word that the divine has for you if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time of peace divine light